Morning everyone, today is Monday, December 30th at 7.08 a.m. Today is free video watch this day. So for those of you that don't know, I like to put out a free video watch list every single Monday on YouTube so everyone can kind of see a sneak peek inside MIC. <coughs> Excuse me. But usually every day or every other day, I like to post this video watch list for MIC members only. Uh, so let's get started. So before I start, I just want to mention that we have the holiday sale going on. It ends in one day in six hours. We only have three more available spaces. After that, we are going to cap it. Uh, so reserve your spot. I'm going to have a link to the sale in the description. After this, we plan on raising our prices. So yeah, let's get started. So what I always like to do is my favorite setups are the stocks that people forget about, right? So those are what we consider the low hanging fruit. So every single morning, what I like to do is I go to my watch list from the previous day and I look at the low hanging fruit and that's how I kind of create my watch list in the morning today. So let's get started. So PT, as you can see, the reason why this is a low hanging fruit is because on day one, it faded and gave up the move. So on day two, we are waiting for a pop to short. So here's a couple scenarios that we could have. So the red to green level is usually always a line, but I don't like to use it because sometimes that's where a lot of shorts have uh, their stop out. So oftentimes what ends up happening is it goes to this 212 and then jams up on all the covers. So if you are thinking about shorting this red to green level, I always recommend that you use small size and save your size for the key levels. Like in the morning, I'm looking to short a pop towards 230 and looking to short a pop towards 250. And look at how I got these levels. These are the key resistance areas, right? So I'll have some fancy orders here, fancy orders here. TTPH, looking for, again, this is a low hanging fruit because look, it gave up the entire move on day one. So day two, we are waiting for a pop. So looking for a push into the 330s, which is key resistance over here. FCEL is a former runner. I've traded this stock. Shit, man, I've been trading this stock since the plug days. So I've been trading this stock um, oh shit. I think it was over here since 2014. So when I first started trading, I was still fucking trading this stock. This stock plug ran with, I mean, this stock FCL ran with plug, right? So I'm very familiar with this stock. It's a piece of shit company. It did not go to $600 a share. It's a reverse split. It's always been a low price stock. So anyway, I know the personality of the stock, right? I know that it has a cult following. I know that people love to fucking buy this. They believe that it's gonna change the world and maybe it is, maybe it isn't, I don't really give a fuck. But the point is, is that there's a big cult following on this. So keep that in mind. What that means to me is I have to nail and bail. I cannot be patient, right? I cannot be patient. So a couple trades in the morning that we might get out of this is I'm looking for a 150 push in the morning. We're already at like 140 planning to add in the 160s with a stop around 170. Just gonna kind of keep it very, very simple. If this stock goes red in the 120s, let's see if there's enough meat for us. Honestly, if I'm just being purely honest, I would not short this when it goes red because something with these low price stocks is we have to remember that there's a rule that says uh, that you need to be keeping a minimum bid of $1 on these stocks to stay listed. So a lot of times these cheap stocks they pump so much money in it to keep it above a dollar that's just so tough to do it so i'm waiting for a pop to short rather than a dump to short the rna uh this was a great stuff example on friday explain to the guys in the room push elevated volume rejection if you don't know what a stuff move is we have so many things about this just ask anyone in after hours i'm sure michael tran has a bunch of uh saved uh, screenshots of this so anyway what I'm looking for is a morning push towards this eight level in the morning and again I'm always looking for the key resistance spots yes you can ideally short some here but because this is not a low float crap piece of shit company I want to use the outer lines to keep myself the most safe but you never know, I might take a small starter here, but you cannot be more than a starter. You cannot be sizing in on this level. You have to be waiting for the higher levels. Mbot had two offerings in like two days. Uh, 
Not sure what it's going to do, but I see a resistance level towards 1170 and 12 bucks. So that's kind of the level that I'm going to be watching in the morning. Now, this is the one that's going to be taking shorts to the woodshed. Um, as you could tell, stock is on a massive run from one. Kind of consolidated here, believe it or not, and then broke out. So what this looks like to me is this looks like a daily chart breakout, right? <coughs> Over five bucks looks like a daily chart breakout. So I'm not looking to find the top here. I'm not looking to short this stuff. I don't really know if I'm even going to locate this. I'm just going to kind of keep it on my radar and watch how it trades because what I know about this stock is that it's crowded. I know that shorts are in trouble here, so I don't want to be another short that gets stuck. So that's that. Uh, again, remember, holiday sale. If you are a current member, hit up Tosh if you want to upgrade. If you are a new member, we'll have this link in the description. Also, Oliver made these MAP shirts, these member appreciation shirts for all the MAP members. It's also gonna have your Slack name on it. So how sick is that? All the MAP winners should get that. And if you don't know what MAP is, if you're a new member, what we like to do is like every couple months, we like to do something called the Member Appreciation Program. So we like to help members who, uh, we like to reward members that help other members the most with some free clothes and some custom stuff. So this is kind of what this round of winners is getting. Last time we got them Alexas. You know, we got some people laptops, monitors, this and that. So we like to always change up. Anyway, I'm rambling. Uh, hopefully you guys watch this video. And what I'm going to start doing is at the end of the video, I'm going to say a random word. And I want you guys to comment the random word to know that you guys watched the video or not. So today's random word is going to be uh, boomerang. I'm just looking around my office for random shit. So say boomerang if you actually watch this video. And that way I'll know who's watching the video. And the people that don't know are going to be like, what the fuck are these people talking about? Anyway, thanks.